Hey there guys, my name is David Beebe. I'm one of the creators of Solo, and today it's my great pleasure to introduce version 1.1 and take you through some of the new features. But first, I wanna say a huge thanks on behalf of myself, Tom Quayle, and Mike Petit to everyone that has bought Solo over the last month since we've launched. The response has been amazing, uh, we've been blown away, and we really appreciate all the feedback and the strong wishes for us to uh, support Solo on other platforms. We hear that loud and clear, promise you it's, uh, it's coming as fast as we can do it. So today though, I wanna talk about four new features. We've got intelligent voice leading, instrument selection, we've got transposing instrument support, and we've got some tweaks to some levels and some chord scan information. So what I'm gonna do is switch to the other camera and get a picture-in-picture -picture close up of the app on the screen and take you through them one by one. So the first new feature of 1.1 that we're gonna look at is voice leading. Now when you select a level that supports randomizing of the intervallic functions, you get this additional option to turn on voice leading. So I've selected the level root three, five, and seven, and you can see voice leading is currently grayed out. So that means we have to hit random, and then we can turn on voice leading. And what this is gonna do now, it will still ask us to play a randomized selection of the root three, five, and seven for each of the chords in the progression. However, what it's gonna do is take the last note of the current chord you're on and move it into the first note of the next chord change by a half step, a semitone or one fret movement. Or it might do it by a tone, so that's a whole step or two frets, or a minor third. And what this is gonna do is give you a great workout training your fingers and ears to find, see, and hear the connections between chords in real time. And this feature really starts to turn solo from a really great but purely abstract note finding tool to something that's slightly more musical and representative of how we might build lines in real life. So what I'm gonna do is hit start changes workout and just take you through a few bars of this. Okay, so we've got the five, flat three, one, and flat seven of the C minor seven. Now it's changed to the F7. You can see it's selected the three of F7, which is an A, which is a half step, a semitone, from where we left off on the previous chord. So it's smoothly leading the chord voice be between the change. So I've got three, one, five, flat seven. And here it's done it again. I've now got the B flat major seven, and it's asking me for the third, which is a half step, a smooth connection from the previous chord. So three, seven, one, five. Now go to the E flat major seven, I've got the one, seven, five, three, and so on. The next couple of features that we're gonna take a look at are instrument selection and support for transposing instruments. So within the settings tab of the app, we now have this option for instrument selection, and we've got six string guitar, seven string guitar, four and five string bass, B flat horn, E flat horn, and concert pitch. So by choosing one of these options, obviously the one that you're using with solo, uh, then it's gonna optimize solo to listen for that particular instrument type, and it's gonna make the experience all the better. So in particular for B flat horn and E flat horn, this is gonna allow you to work with solo in your native tuning. So we've had quite a few requests since we launched 1.0 um, asking us, will it work with bass? The answer has always been yes for bass, but um, it wouldn't work up, um, before this point with any transposing horns. But now you can, so you, if you're a sax player or trumpet player, uh, you can work with solo too. So the final new feature for 1.1 is actually a tweak and a change we've made to one of the chord scale levels. So we've changed the last level, which was chord scale with a random starting scale degree. We've turned that into more useful, in our opinion, uh, chord scale going from a random starting chord tone. Uh, so this now, if I choose autumn leaves and set this workout up, um, and just hit start scale workout. It's gonna start the each chord scale, but only from a valid chord tone. So we have, here we're going from the five on the C minor seven C Dorian. Now going from the flat seven of the F seven F Mixolydian. To the major seven for the B flat major. To the three for the E flat Lydian. A Locrian from the root. And then we've got the D altered here from the flat seven. 
to the G minor G Dorian from the flat three. And then G altered from the flat seven. Okay then, so that is 1.1 of Solo. It is the first update to the app, but it's really the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the features that we intend to incorporate. We have a strong roadmap of exciting features that are coming later down the line. Uh, yeah, and we can't wait to bring them to you. And of course, Android support and other platforms and things like that. So if you want to stay up to date with the latest news information about Solo, then sign up to our mailing list on solotrainer.app over on our website. And you can also sign up to the beta versions there. If you want to get access to early features and test some of these new things that are coming, then you can apply for that over on the website too, solotrainer.app. Follow us on social media, so Solo Trainer app on Instagram and uh, on YouTube. And of course, Tom Quayle's personal uh, uh, social media and my own, David Beebe. Until next time, guys, happy practicing. Hope you get a lot out of the app and this 1.1 update. And we'll speak to you soon.